Christ. Is for Christ. Is for Christ. America is for Christ. We have come to claim it. America is for Christ. Is for Christ. Is for Christ. America is for Christ. We have come to claim it. America is for Christ. Is for Christ. Is for Christ. America is for Christ. We have come to claim it. America is for Christ. Is for Christ. Is for Christ. America is for Christ. We have come to claim it. America is for Christ. Is for Christ. Is for Christ. America is for Christ. We have come to claim it. America is for Christ. Is for Christ. Is for Christ. America is for Christ. We have come to claim it. Hallelujah, glory to God. This is the Our Miracles Radio and TV Ministries of the Jesus Christ Global Mission. Reaching you all the way from College Park, Maryland, Archbishop Stephen John Biokoro coming your way with God's living word. America is for Christ. Taken from Psalm 24, verses 1, is our topic today. The earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. God led me and uh, spoke to me to announce to all Christians and church leaders, pastors, bishops, apostles, prophets, and archbishops to go and preach the gospel from on the first on the seventh of March 2016, which will march in the cities, march in your localities, your community, you match the march of Joshua, you match the march of victory, you sound the sound of victory, announcing victory of Jesus Christ over this land, Jesus is Lord over the United States of America, God's own this land, this is God's own country, and the devil is not going to take it, we are here to declare that Jesus Christ is Lord in this nation. We want to thank God for evangelist Franklin Graham, who is already leading in prayers and in marching through the land and, you know, praying and teaching the word and marching, leading Christians to march through the land. That's what it is. We got to march through the land in righteousness and holiness, proclaiming Jesus Christ as Lord, because this nation was founded on God's principle, in God we trust. America has been a godly nation, a Christian nation founded by Christians, and uh, the principles are still there, in God we trust. And so God spoke to me to announce to all Christian leaders, church leaders, pastors, evangelists, bishops, apostles, and archbishops, to pray for this nation, for God to give us good leaders, faithful leaders, who will lead this country in the way of God, in the way of Jesus. Righteousness exalts the nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. It's high time we begin to lead this country in the way of God, and not in the way of the devil. The earth is the lost and fullness thereof. In God we trust. This nation is founded on God's principles, on the word of God. Thank God for good leaders like General George Washington. These are born again Christians who led this country in the way of God, in the fear of God. And uh, we have come thus far by the faith of the fathers. Righteousness exalts the nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. America is not going to be another Sodom and Gomorrah. It's a land for the Lord Jesus Christ. In God we trust. This is God's own country. This is God's own country. And it must be led by people who will proclaim righteousness, who will proclaim Jesus as Lord. No one is going to change this country to a devil's country. No one is going to change this country to where Satan is leading. 
Jesus is Lord over this nation of America, and so shall it be forever and ever. Oh yes, the earth is the Lord's, and his fullness thereof. And so it is Joshua March, it is Jericho March, it is the march of victory, it is the march proclaiming victory over the land. The devil does not own the land. Jesus owns the land, the earth is the Lord's, and his fullness thereof. Psalm 24, verse 1 say the earth is the Lord's, and his fullness thereof. God owns the land. The devil does not own no land. The devil has nothing. He's just trying to take over what God has established. God is not going to allow that. When the people of God shut up, that's when the devil is going to take over. But Jesus said, Occupy till I come. Jesus said, Go ye and preach the gospel to every creature. Go ye and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And so we are here to declare Jesus as Lord over the nations of the earth. Oh yes, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the everlasting Father, he rules and reigns forever. And no one's going to change that. The earth is the Lord's. America belongs to Jesus. Jesus is Lord over this nation. And anyone who wants to change this nation to something else is going to have the cost of God. God is going to cost anyone who tried to change anything. The forefathers have laid the foundation. Welcome to God's own country. Yes, that is the sign bar. Welcome to God's own country. This is God's own country. This is the country of Jesus. This is the country of the Holy Ghost. This is the country of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Jesus lives here. It's about Jesus. It's about the Lord God Almighty. Oh yes, we shall all worship him and praise him. From on the first on the seventh of March, God wants the Christians in this land to start to praise God and worship God and pray for this country. March through the streets, you know, declaring Jesus as Lord. God said, Wherever the soles of your feet are trod, I have already given to you. Joshua chapter 1, verses 3 to 8. The book of Joshua chapter 1, verses 3 to 8. God said, wherever the soles of our feet shall trod, God has already given to us. God has already given us this land of America to own and possess and declare Jesus Christ as Lord. Oh yes, so the soles of our feet are trod in this land and we take it over, we occupy till Jesus we come. Jesus is Lord over this land. And God is going to choose his leaders for this land. God's going to choose his Moses. God's going to choose those who are going to lead. Lead this nation to the land of promise that you flow with me, honey. It's high time we let God choose for us. Enough is enough. The devil have had his feet day, and all kinds of things have been happening. Righteousness exalts the nation, but sin is a sin. It's a, it's a destruction. See, righteousness exhausts a nation, but sin is a reproach. A reproach. This is not Sodom and Gomorrah. This is God's own country. America is God's own country. God owns the land. The earth is the Lord's and his fullness thereof. We need to advocate Jesus Christ as Lord over this land. The devil is trying to they bring out some secret uh, agendas and trying to turn things over. But let's know that Jesus Christ is Lord. The devil is not going to win. Thank God for men of God like evangelist Franklin Graham. We thank God for the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. They'll be leading the people in praying for the nation, marching through the land, and talking about Jesus to the people declaring Jesus as Lord. That's what every church leader must do, March 1st to March 7th. We must march through the land, declaring Jesus as Lord, walking around, praying for the nation, praying for our country. This is not a place for bloodshedding. This is not a place for fighting. This is not a place for suicide bombing. 
This is not a place for killing of people and shooting people to death. This is not a place where the devil rules. This is God's own country. Welcome to God's own country. America is God's own country. See? And that's what it's going to be. This is not the devil's country. This is not where Satan is going to rule. The devil's agenda concerning this nation has been twatted in the name of Jesus. The demons are not going to rule. The witches and the wizards are not going to rule. The devil is not going to rule this nation. This nation belongs to Jesus. God is going to choose his own president. God is going to choose his own leaders who are going to lead this nation to the land of promise that is flowing with milk and honey. The earth is the Lord's and his fullness thereof. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. This month of March is a special month of prayer for the nation. It's a special month of prayer for souls to be saved, for revival to visit this land once again, for the gospel of Jesus to be declared all over the nation. The devil has no place. Jesus said, Occupy till I come. The earth is the Lord's and his fullness thereof. We need to let them know the truth, that the truth shall set them free. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one coming to the Father except through him. There is a way that seemed right unto a man, but the end is destruction. Jesus is the only way. Why not come to Jesus today and receive him as your personal Lord and Savior? So that you have eternal life. What shall it profit you if you shall gain the whole world and suffer the lose of your soul? Right now, you got to make a decision to follow Jesus, to have him into your heart, receive him as your Lord. As many as receive Christ, to them God gave power to become the sons of God. And so God is calling you today to repent of your sins. He that covers his sins shall not prosper, but whosoever confesseth and forsaketh shall have mercy. All have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. There's none righteous, there's none holy. Jesus Christ, his blood was shed on Calvary's tree over 2,000 years ago for your salvation. That blood is still flowing today. When you come to Jesus, he gives you eternal life, everlasting life. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. And so the earth is the laws and full near the rough. Yes, March 1st to March 7th. All church leaders and pastors, evangelists, apostles, prophets, teachers, Bible school leaders and bishops and archbishops, you are encouraged by God to march through the land in prayers and uh, marching through the land like Joshua. Joshua marched through the land seven days. On the seventh day, blew the trumpet. And when he drew the trumpet, the walls fell down. They took over the land of promise. Yes, Jesus is Lord over this nation. Jesus shall rule and reign. He is the Prince of Peace. And the Lord of Lords, the everlasting Father, Jesus reigns here in America and all the nations of the earth. I experience peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Why don't you receive him today so that you have peace? Peace like a river, the peace of God that passes every human understanding. Why will you serve the devil? The devil hasn't got anything for you. The devil is a killer, he's a destroyer. John 10.10 10, say the devil has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came to give you life, and life more abundantly. See, John 10.10. 10. The devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came to give life, and life more abundantly. And so we must chase the devil out of this land. Oh, we must bind him and all his demons and cast them out. The Holy Spirit must take over this nation. Jesus is Lord over America. And the devil has no place. Jesus said, Occupy till I come. 
preach the gospel to everyone. Why will you worship the devil? Why will you worship Satan? And then give your life to the devil and the devil begin to use you and then confusion and then you go around doing all kind of stuff, killing people and destroying and the suicide bombing and shooting and killing. That's not, that's not for you. You are to follow Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, so that you can have the joy of God. God bless you with this word in Jesus' name. Feel free to email this link, forward it to all your friends and families all over the world. Let them know the truth, that the truth has set them free. If you need prayer or counseling, you can reach us. Area code 240-552-5899 or 202-460-7110. We love you. Jesus loves you. Felicia and I, we love you. I will say God bless you abundantly as you share in this Jericho match. Yes, the Joshua match. We are the Joshua's of today. You can email us our miracles tv at juno.com our of miracles tv at juno.com we are the joshua's of today we are the one marching through the land god's god and army marching through the land deliverance is your song yes healing in your land everlasting joy gladness in your heart i need this army of god apart God's God and army marching through the land. Deliverance is your song, healing in your hands. Everlasting joy, gladness in your lives. And in this army of God apart. God's God and army marching through the land. Deliverance is your song, healing in your lives. Everlasting joy, gladness in your hands. I need this army of God apart. God has got an army marching through the land. Deliverance is their song, healing in their hands. In this army, I have got a part. The army of God is marching through the land. Yes, Jesus is Lord. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching us to war. We die cross of Jesus, going on before Christ the Ruya Banner, leads against the foe, forward into battle, his angels sing. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching us to warm. We die cross of Jesus going on before. Onward, Christian soldiers marching us to war. Onward, Christian soldiers. We are marching through the land in victory. Oh, yes, Joshua chapter 1. God told Joshua, wherever the souls of your feet shall trod, I have already given to you. The souls of our feet have trodden this land. The earth is the Lord's I funeral thereof. We claim this land for Jesus. We claim America for Jesus. We claim this nation for Jesus. We claim the nations of the earth. We claim them for Christ. The earth is the Lord's and his fullness thereof. Psalm 24 verse 1. Psalm 24 verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and his fullness thereof. The earth belongs to Jesus. The, the earth belongs to God. Everything here belongs to God, belongs to Jesus. The devil has no place. So why will you belong to the devil? Why will you serve the devil? Why will you worship the devil? Today, repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior so that you can have eternal life. What shall it profit you if you shall gain the whole world and suffer the lose of your soul? And so we have the march of Jericho, the march of victory, Joshua's march, marching through the land in victory. We are walking around praying for the nation, praying for salvation of souls, praying for God to move, for revival to come down to this earth, for revival to come again and turn the people to righteousness, 
because righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Right now, you need to repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior so that you can have eternal life. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. You don't even have tomorrow. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So now you need to repent of your sins so that you can have eternal life. Sin is a reproach to any people. But righteousness is a blessing to you. Yes, may these words bless you today that you will know that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The devil has no place to stay. We bind him and all his demons, all his evil spirits, witchcraft free, and all the occult and diabolical forces, all the false religions and false gods. We bind them from over this land in the name of Jesus. We pull down their altars from this nation. Every altar that God did not build in this country, we pull them down in the name of Jesus, we destroy them. And we ask that the altar of Jesus be built, the altar of the Holy Ghost, the altar of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost be built right now. Yes, Jesus, raise up your altar, your altar that shall speak life, your altar, O oh God, that shall speak salvation, deliverance, and healing, and blessing to the nation. Yes, Lord. Raise your altar today in this nation, the altar of righteousness that exalts a nation. But sin is a disgrace to any people. Yes, why not follow the way of righteousness? Jesus said, narrow is the way that leads to eternal life. Oh yes, Jesus made this clear in Matthew chapter 7. He said, narrow is the way that leads to eternal life. And only few are finding it. And broad is the way that leads to destruction. Broad way, the broad way that leads to hell. Why will you follow the broad way that leads to the lake of fire that is burning with brimstone and the worms diet not? See, Revelation 21, verse 8. Revelation 21, verse 8. Say, the murderers, the adulterers, the fornicators. The thieves, the warmongers, all of them, the killers, the hired killers, the nightmare raiders, all of them, the suicide bombers, and all of them shall have themselves in the lake of fire, which burneth with fire and brimstone forever, they will be in hell. Why not repent today and make Jesus your Lord and Savior so that you have eternal life? What shall it profit you if you gain the whole world? and suffer the lose of your soul. Jesus is coming very soon. He's going to rapture his church and take his people away. Are you ready? Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? I will be ready. I will be ready. I will be ready when the Lord shall come. I will be ready, I will be ready, I will be ready when the Lord shall come. See, prepare to meet your God. Amos chapter 4, verse 12. Prepare to meet your God. Be ready to meet your God. Prepare before it's too late. Are you ready? To meet your God. Be ready to meet your God. Are you ready to meet thy Lord? Be ready before it's too late. Are you ready to meet your God? Yes, Amos chapter 4, verse 12. He said, Prepare to meet your God. You're going to meet your God. You are going to stand before God. It is appointed unto man once to die after that judgment. That's the book of Hebrews chapter 9. What God said, it is appointed unto you to die once. You're going to die just once. Anytime from now, anybody is going to die. 
But where are you going to? See, narrow is the way that leads to eternal life. And only few are finding it. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. There is a way that seemeth to you like it is right, but it is the way of destruction, the way of adultery, the way of fornication, the way of stealing and liars, and all the uh, fraudulent practices and all the evil and the immorality. Marriage is honorable and best on the fire, but adulterers and fornicators, God will judge. God is going to judge. You shall stand before God. See, what God says, every one of us shall stand before God, and you will give account of your life to God. And when you will stand before God, and your name is not found in the book of life, whose name it was not found in the book of life, was cast into the lake of fire that burned with brimstone. Why don't you repent today and let your name be found in the book of life? Why don't you come to Jesus? Why don't you confess your sins and receive Christ and turn away from evil or righteousness and godliness? Come out of darkness and let the light of God shine in your life. Jesus is the light of the world. And then Jesus said, we, his people, we are the light of the world. The devil is the darkness. Will you go to darkness? You follow darkness to hell. Hell is the darkness we're talking about. So darkness, the warm diet not. And the people are screaming there forever and ever for millions of years. They are gnashing their teeth in hell because of sin, immorality, and stealing, and lying, and all the evils, and all the sexual promiscuity sexual uncleanliness and ungodliness, unrighteousness in their lives. Now they are in hellfire crying. Is that where you want to go? Today you need to repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and begin to worship Him, worship God, worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Receive him today into your heart so that you have eternal life, everlasting life. You don't have to live a reckless life, Sodom and Gomorrah, they live immoral lives. And God destroyed those nations. You know, the days of Noah, they are living recklessly, doing anything, you know, just doing anything, immorality and sexual promiscuity, uncleanliness, ungodliness, unrighteousness, and uh, uh, prostitution, and uh, uh, un unholy alliance, inordinate affection, and all those unclean things the people of Sodom and Gomorrah were doing, and God destroyed those nations. We pray that America will not become another Sodom and Gomorrah. In the name of Jesus, America is for Jesus, this month of March, God said all church leaders, Christians, pastors, if you pray for this country, God should choose good leaders that will lead this country to the promised land. God should send us some revival. We got to march forward. We are not marching backward. Oh, yes, God's got an army marching through the land. Deliverance is their song. There's healing in their hands. Yes, salvation has come to you today. Why don't you come? Come to Jesus, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus now. He will save you, he will save you, he will set you free. Come to Jesus, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus now. He will save you. He will save you. He will set you free. Yes, Prophet Elijah said, why will you be serving two gods? They were worshiping idols in the days of Prophet Elijah. Elijah said, let us know which God is the real God. Because in this world today, there are so many gods, idols, and worshippers of uh, 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 images, and worshiping 
worshiping their river, worshiping their dead father, worshiping their dead gods and idols, and so on and so forth. Which God is the true God? And Elijah prayed, and God answered. The God that answered by fire is the true God. And the false prophets, 450 false prophets, they were killed. Yes, God judged them and they died because they didn't exalt righteousness and God had to kill them. See, God is a judge, he's a righteous judge. But the God of Elijah is the true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, the God that answered by fire. The God that answered by fire, let him be my God, God answered by fire. Let him be my God, God answered by fire. Let him be my God, God answered by fire. Let him be my God. There are so many gods today. Which God are you serving? Are you serving man-made God, God of human being? They were carved by men and then you are bowing down to worship them. You got to repent today. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou serve. You got to worship God, worship him in spirit and in truth. It's not about going to church. Well, everybody is going to church, but Nicodemus in John chapter 3, in John's gospel chapter 3, Nicodemus came to Jesus by night, and he was praising Jesus, he was talking good. Jesus said, hold it, hold it. I'm not about to do religious talk right now. Nicodemus, have you been born again? And uh, Nicodemus, a religious leader, he didn't know how to be born again. And Jesus took time to explain to him, Nicodemus, you need to be born, except a man be born again of water and of the Holy Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. John's Gospel, chapter 3. Nicodemus was surprised. See, he, he thought because he was going to church, then he was saved. Jesus said, no, it's not about going to church. Everybody goes to church. Even the devil goes to church. Jesus said, I'm not talking about church. I didn't ask you to go to church. You, you need to be born again. You need to be saved. You need to repent of your sin. You need to get right with God. Oh yes, Nicodemus, we're not talking about church. Except a man be born again of water and of the Holy Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That's what we're talking about. Everybody is going to church today after, you know, with devil in their heart, Satan in their mind, they say they are going to church and they are not saved. They are not born again. They are not filled with the Holy Spirit. Jesus is not in their life. Christ in you is the hope of glory. Christ in you is the hope of glory. When you have Christ in you, that is the issue. Oh, yes. John chapter 3. Jesus told Nicodemus, Yes, you are going to church every day. You are a religious leader. Yes, you carry your Bible. Yes, you are a religious leader, yes, but except you are born again of water and of the Holy Spirit, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So your going to church can even be very useless before God. It doesn't matter. Oh yes, God didn't, Jesus didn't care who went to church. That's not the issue. Except you are born again of water and of the Spirit of God, you are not entering into the kingdom of God. So who cares whether you went to church a million times a day? Who cares? Jesus said you must be born again a second time. Your life must be renewed. You must live a new life in Christ Jesus. Christ must be formed in you. Jesus must be in your life. The Holy Spirit must possess you. Christ in you is the hope of glory. So who is talking about church to you? Who, who, who asks you questions about church? Nicodemus, get it straight. That which is of the flesh is flesh, and that which is of the spirit is spirit. Except you be born again of water and of the Holy Spirit, 
you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. The issue is the kingdom of God. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. Jesus said, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. How will you see God when your heart is dirty? Your heart is filled with anger and malice, unforgiving spirits. Your heart is filled with murderers. Out of the heart proceeded evil thoughts. Your heart is filled with hatred. Your heart is filled with lust and sexual perversion. And then you, uh, you say, you say what? what are you saying? Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. Jesus made it clear. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. If you want to see God, then you got to be pure in your heart. Yes, you got to live a holy life. God, God say, be ye holy, for God himself is holy. Sanctify yourself. And live for Jesus. You say, can we live in sin so that grace may abound? The answer is no. You cannot live in immorality and sin so that grace may abound. The grace of God does not cover you. When you live in sin, the wages of sin is death. Or the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So talking about grace and all those things, yes, yeah, they are good. The grace of God, by grace are we saved, yes. Yeah, Jesus came to give us grace and truth, yes. But the scripture made it clear. Can we continue in sin so that grace may abound? The answer is no. And it is written there in the word of God. You cannot live callously, live like the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, live like the people of Noah's day, live in immorality things and then you expect to go into the kingdom of God. There's no kingdom of God for you. Hell is your destination. Hell is your home when you live in sin. The wages of sin is separation from God, eternal separation from the almighty God. So now is the time for you to repent and turn to Jesus Christ as many as came to Christ he received them. John chapter 1, verse 12. As many as received Christ, to them God gave power to become the sons of God. As many as received Christ as their Lord and Savior, to them God gave power to become the sons of God. Why don't you receive Christ today so that you have eternal life? Be born again and be filled with the Holy Spirit and live for Jesus. I live for Jesus day after day. I live for Jesus. Let come what may, thy Holy Spirit. I will obey. I live for Jesus day after day. I live for Jesus. Day after day, I live for Jesus. Let come what may, thy Holy Spirit, I will obey. I live for Jesus day after day. Do you live for Jesus or you are living for Satan? You are living for Satan? See, some people are Satan's agents. They, 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 they are disciples of Satan. They have six, six, six written on their head. They are servants of the devil. See, when you serve the devil, you go to hell. Then you, Jesus said, to whom ye yield yourself servants to obey, his servants ye are. If you make yourself a servant of the devil, the devil takes you to hell when you die, and then your name is not found in the book of life, and you are thrown into the lake of fire whose name was not found in the book of life, was casted into the lake of fire. So now is the time for you to repent 
and be saved and be born again. The blood of Jesus is still flowing today. Won't you be free from the captive of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. As for the cleansing from Calvary Street, there's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There's power in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all unrighteousness. When you call upon Jesus, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans chapter 10, verse 13. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Why don't you call upon the name of the Lord Jesus today? The name of the Lord is are strong to one, the righteous run into it, and they are saved. The name of the Lord is are strong to one, the righteous run into it, and they are saved. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed is the name of the Lord. Most high. The name of the Lord is as strong to one. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. The name of the Lord is as strong to one. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they are saved. There's no other name mentioned among men by which you can be saved except the, the name of Jesus. No other name but the name of Jesus. No other name but the name of Jesus. No other name but the name of the Lord. He's worthy of power. He's worthy of honor, he's worthy of honor and of praise. No other name but the name of Jesus. At the mention of the name, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes, there is a name that is above every other name. Call upon that name today. As many as call upon him shall be saved. Psalm 50 verse 15. Psalm 50 verse 15. He said, call upon him in the days of trouble and he will deliver you. God is saying to you in Psalm 50 verse 15. Call upon him in the days of trouble and he will deliver you. Call upon him. In the days of trouble, call upon him, he will answer you. Call upon Jesus in the days of trouble, call upon Jesus, he will answer you, answer you. Call upon Jesus in the days of trouble, call upon him. He will answer you. Psalm 50 verse 15. God said, call upon him. Call upon him. God wants you to call him. In the days of trouble, in the days of difficulty, in the days of hardship, in the days of problems, call upon the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the everlasting Father, the Prince of peace. Call upon him and he will answer you. 
He's available. He's here right now. He's ready to answer your prayers. Yes, Jesus is here right now. Jesus is here right now. He's here to meet your need and to set the captives free. Oh, Jesus is here right now. Jesus, you are here right now. Jesus is here right now. He's here to meet your need and to set the captives free. Oh, Jesus is here right now. Jesus is here right now. He's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. He's everywhere. There is no distance in prayer from wherever you are enjoying this program. There is no distance in prayer. You will be far away in Asia, in Africa, in the Philippines. We receive a lot of emails, phone calls. We receive emails and phone calls from people from all over the world. There is no distance in prayer. Wherever you are listening to this word of God right now, Jesus is available to you. He's ready to meet your need. Far away in India, far away in Russia, far away in China, and all over the globe, Jesus is available for you right now. Lay your right hand on your listening device, your television set, your radio, your TV, your iPads, your iPhones, your 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 phones or your emails or your laptops, your computers. Just put your right hand on the air. I tell you what, the Spirit of God is moving right now. The power of God is moving, is touching you right now. Jesus is touching you right now. His anointing is flowing. Every yoke is being destroyed from your life because of the anointing. In the name of Jesus, may you receive the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart. May you be saved today. May you be born again today. May your life be new today. Yes, receive him right now. Jesus is touching you right now. All you need is a touch. From Jesus, all you need is a touch from the Lord. All you need is a touch from Jesus. All you need is a touch from the Lord. All you need is a touch from Jesus. All you need is a touch. From the Lord, all you need is a touch from Jesus. All you need is a touch from the Lord. Yes, Jesus is touching you right now. Lay your right hand where you are hurting, your head or your chest or your waist, your leg, your eyes or your ears or wherever you are hurting. Put your right hand there. The Lord Jesus is touching you right now. The Lord Jesus is touching you right now. Yes, he touched me. Oh, he touched me. And oh, the joy that fill my soul. Something happened. And now I know he touched me and me. Me, Jesus touched you. Oh, he touched you. And oh, what joy that feel your soul. Something happened. And now I know he touched you and made you whole. Yes, Jesus is touching you right now. Receive the touch of Jesus in your life, in your spirit, soul, and body, from the crowns of your head to the sole of your feet. Receive the touch of Jesus. Be made whole by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Yes, receive that touch in your life. You'll never be the same again. Let every yoke be destroyed from your life because of the anointing. Receive that touch right now. In the name of Jesus, 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to praise God wherever you are right now. Praise God. Give him glory. Give him honor. Yes, begin to praise God. Give him glory. Give him honor. Yes, feel free to email us our miracles TV at juno.com. Our miracles TV at juno.com. We'd like to hear what God is doing in your life and we want to give God the glory in Jesus' name. Now, I want you to worship God somewhere. You must worship God either in a, one of the living churches where they preach the true word of God. Don't go to occult houses, don't go to Satan houses, don't go to demons and all those places. Go to the Lord Jesus Christ where Jesus Christ is Lord. That's where you must worship God in spirit and in truth. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. God bless you abundantly. Thank you so much for listening and uh, being a part of this program. The Lord continue to prosper you all in Jesus' name. As we march into the month of March, it is a march of victory. It is Joshua March. It is a march into Jericho. We're taking over. We are occupying the Jesus. We come. The devil has no place in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Feel free to follow up this. I want you to forward this message to all your friends and families and everyone. Email it to them. Forward it to them. Let them enjoy what God is doing. And let them receive their blessing also. In Jesus' name. Amen. We are marching forward. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We are marching forward, hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Amen. Thy church is marching on.